beautiful people, welcome back. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day today. And in today's video, we are gonna be doing something a little different, which I'm sure you've already seen from the title and the thumbnail. And that is going to be testing out Gigi Hadid's makeup routine post-pregnancy. And this is a video, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of explain, give you a little bit of backstory here, because normally, as I'm sure you know if you've, if you've been here for any length of time, um, normally these aren't the type of videos that I do all too often. Like I'll try, you know, a, maybe an application method or something like that, but I typically don't go through and do someone's full makeup routine because I've always been more of like a review type channel. But for today, but for today, okay, um, the weather has made it increasingly difficult to put up or do any uh, of my scheduled content because none of my packages arrived this past week, okay, not a single one. So obviously sitting down to film this weekend, I was in kind of a pickle because I was trying to figure out what is something that I would enjoy filming, what is something you guys might want to watch, uh, but also, again, doesn't involve any of the new stuff that I was going to test out. And so I was sitting here thinking and just, you know, kind of perusing the internet and Gigi Hadid's video that she did for, I think it was Vogue maybe, Vogue, whatever. I'll have the video linked down below anyways, but she did a video with her post-pregnancy makeup routine and I was just, you know, kind of aimlessly thinking. I was looking around my beauty studio here trying to like get inspired. So I clicked the video and I was just letting it play while I was, you know, rummaging in the background and normally this doesn't happen to me, but uh, while I was, you know, going around doing my stuff, cleaning and whatever, um, I found myself after about four minutes sitting back in this chair holding my phone just really into what she was saying and I think I think by the end of the video, what really, uh, what I really enjoyed about her her approach to this was that it was so easy, so effortless. Most of it was actually drugstore, which I thought was really cool. It's mostly Maybelline, um, and I don't know, by the way, if she's had like a campaign with Maybelline. I know that there is also Patrick Ta in this video, and I know that like her and Patrick Ta, I think, are friends. Again, I don't know if she's worked with Maybelline or not, but a lot of um, what she used was Maybelline, and so it just kind of hit me, like, why don't I run down? Because obviously, I do have a Walgreens nearby, okay? Like, that. that's the one thing Northern Michigan has. I ran there, I grabbed um, the stuff that she used that I didn't have, you know, as best to my ability, some things I had to substitute, but I, I figured between that little trip to Walgreens, my collection, and, you know, just piecing in with a couple of other things, we could test out this routine, see how it is, um, in terms of the application method, how it looks, so on and so forth. I really appreciated with her approach to this little routine that she has. I like that it's so simple and that she's very, um, she just, she's very open about, like, the way that, you know, I don't always look like this. A lot of days I don't wear any makeup. A lot of days I don't, don't even brush my hair like she was just it was such an approachable video and I just want to say too I know this is kind of random but if you are watching this and it's not exactly what you were obviously looking for I know it's different um, but if you're watching it anyways thank you so much I really do appreciate it I want you guys to know um, videos like this they typically don't do as well because again I'm more of a review based channel but you taking the time and sitting through my video and watching it anyways watching the ad stuff like that it really does mean a lot to me and it just it's it's the support end of it that I I can't thank you enough for so if you're watching this again regardless of if it's your kind of content or not I really appreciate it um and oh yeah too before we leave make sure you subscribe turn on your post notifications hello I almost forgot um I do put up three new videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday right around 7 7 30 ish a.m my time here in good old northern Michigan so make sure again you're subscribed turn on your post notifications before you leave and also too make sure that you're following me over on Instagram I upload a ton over there I hang out in my IG stories there is makeup content plus size fashion and there's always too a lot of like my newer newer makeup releases I'm always testing out over there first because they kind of come in throughout the week. So, uh, and I do unboxings too in the IG story. So make sure you're following me there. Everything is linked down below. And I'm still trying to hit 10,000 followers. You know, there's that little that little piece uh, because things things are cranking, okay? They're moving. They're, they're huffing along quite well, but we're still trying to hit it. So make sure, again, follow me on Instagram. That is linked down below. And without any further ado, let's go ahead, zoom the camera in, and let's get started. <laughs> you didn't think I was going to change just because we were talking about Gigi Hadid, did you? No. No, 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 no. I just realized I forgot to grab a bronzer. Shite. Shite. Ah. All right, so we're good and zoomed in. And in her video, she starts off with her couple of skincare ingredients. And obviously, because of everything that's going on, this is kind of a last minute thing. So I am going to be skipping over the skincare. I just did my regular face. And plus, too, I'd rather see how um, how her makeup and like her style of makeup settles onto like my natural skin and how it is after I'm done prepping. So I'm going to skip right into the rest of the makeup. And she actually starts off with a little bit of prep with Lana Lip. Now, I have the Rose Gold 101 one ointment and she was using the regular one the untinted which by the way 
Side note, if you've never tried Lana Lips, like anything from them, it is so good. Um, in the video, she's using the clear one, the one that you can put anywhere, and she actually puts it like up along here. She puts it at the start of her brows, areas where she notices that she gets a little bit drier. And um, obviously for today, I'm not doing that because this is a tinted one, but if you uh, wanted to check out Lana Lips, I'll have all of this linked down below, but if you really want to check them out, especially, especially for these dry ass, crusty, busty winter months, okay, this stuff is amazing. If you want to go the tint option, this is great just for the lips. You can also put it a little bit on the cheeks for a little bit of color, and it's so good. But moving on from there, next up, she goes in with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Face Primer, and basically, it's meant to be like a like a glowy-ish kind of product, right? Something that's going to give a little bit of radiance, a little bit of that wondrous little lust to your skin. And shockingly enough, I went through all my bins, and this is one that I have never tried. So instead of using this, I'm going to prep my skin with the NYX Marshmallow uh, Primer, which I actually just talked about this in my Month End Favorites. I'll link it up here. Uh, but this is just a beautiful primer. It works really well for me, and it's still going to give me a little bit of that light glow that she's going to get as well from the Charlotte Tilbury one. Now, really quick, I want to mention, because this is a little bit different, right? I took that primer from NYX and worked it all over my skin because it's more of like a regular primer, but the way that she does this, and something that I thought was really cool, is that she actually takes the Charlotte Tilbury, um, that Wander Glow primary thing, the one that I didn't have, and what she does is she kind of dots it all over her skin, and then she goes in as well with both of these and dots them all over and mixes everything together on her face. So obviously I'm going to be doing the same thing, starting off here with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. And this is just in the shade Fair One. And she takes this and kind of pops it everywhere using it as kind of like a natural-esque highlighter. And so I'm going to do the same thing here, just kind of dotting it all over. And then for foundation, she does the same thing. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and I have mine in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. And she just does some of this where she gets a little bit on her finger and then goes through and dots it all over. She's really not um, adding a ton of coverage, which I think is actually really pretty. And obviously for me, because my skin isn't like very, you know, <laughs> Gigi Hadidi, so I... <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> Gigi Hadidi. Um, so obviously I, I very well may have to, you know, build up some coverage or play around with that a little bit, but I still really love the concept that she had here because I think it's important, like as we go through makeup and foundation especially, to really build and create like a culmination of products that just work for you. But from here, I actually love this next step. She just goes in with her hands and smushes everything together. I know that this approach obviously isn't for everyone because there are some people that just absolutely hate <laughs> putting stuff on with their hands and I totally get that. You know, if that's you, you could feel free, you know, use a brush, a sponge, whatever. But yeah, my skin looks so nice and glowy right now. Like I have a nice amount of coverage. I would say like a light medium. You can still see all of my redness popping through, but my skin tone is still evened out. And that looks really pretty. It's kind of like a, like a custom glowy CC cream which I'm not mad at. Dang, that's actually really beautiful. And the glow over my entire cheek, bitch, who is she? Now, next up, she went in with um, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and I have this in the shade 095 Cool Ivory, which is a little bit, a little bit light for me, um, but we're gonna make it work because, you know, we were, we were working at, at Walgreens, okay, in the middle of a snowstorm, so let's not hate too bad on the selection here. And also, maybe we should be able to get this damn twister off. Hello? Like, am I missing something? Don't answer that. Oh my God, I was twisting it in the wrong direction. <laughs> Oh, you're so cute. Get on here. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's a little light. Now I'm gonna take and put this in the same main areas that she did. It looks like she kind of put it um, under the eyes and through the T-zone for a little bit of brightening. And then she also put a little bit here at the corners of her mouth just to brighten up that area, which I also need as well. But I'm also gonna take a little bit back here just to sculpt out because this foundation is a freckle too deep for me. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little teeny bit, nothing too crazy. Now something that I really loved that she mentioned in her video is that she actually lets her concealer rest, which I think is awesome because it's a really good way and you know the same reason she does it it kind of helps the concealer to stick in place to help the coverage stay like right where you want it and also to um, just overall help build it in that area like keep it more concrete and so obviously like she did I'm gonna move on to brows next and this is the Maybelline 36 hour tattoo studio uh, brow pencil and I grabbed mine in the shade uh, something hello this is in the shade 255 soft brown and this this is actually a pencil that I haven't used yet. It's kind of like an eyeliner style pencil, not like a, like a micro fine like I'm used to using. Um, so I'm just gonna go through here and get this nicely kind of feathered in. Oh wow, she is super creamy, okay. I see what you're doing, Gigi. 
Gigi, I'm picking up on all your secrets, girl. All right, now once she gets the basic shape of her brows on like this, like, you know, they're not they're not perfectly done, but you got a little bit of color in there. She likes to go in with her fingers and kind of tap to preserve the coverage. And so obviously I am going to do the same thing and get it tapped out. Now mine is going to be <laughs> a little bit more intense. I'll probably have to adjust the color just because just because that that's a lot. I look like I got the damn bat signal going on under my eyes right now. But trust the process, okay? We're just going to get this nice and blended, preserve some of that coverage. And then of course after we're done with this, you know, this section, which actually I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my sponge because I actually do need to blend that color a little bit. I know that this looks a little bit intense at the moment. But I am going to go in um, here in just a second and um, obviously add a little bit of powder to them. And my eyes usually do deepen up with powder, so I'm not going to get too um, too crazy upset about it because, again, it'll probably adjust here within the next couple of steps. I'm going to go in next here and finish off the brows just like she did. And for this part, she actually goes in next with the Maybelline Micro Pencil, which is a fantastic, fantastic uh, brow pencil. I really like it. It is a micro fine tip. But I'm going to be honest, okay, when I was at freaking Walgreens, I completely forgot to grab that. I don't know what happened to me. I grabbed the other one and I didn't grab the Micro Fine. I had them both in my hands, but I, for some reason, didn't grab the other one. So I'm just going to go in with my ABH one. This is the um, ABH Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown, and she uses this to just go in and fill uh, the areas where she wants a little bit more definition, especially up near the front, it looks like. Right now, from there, she goes in with the brow wax, and this is the Patrick Ta one, which is the same one that she uses, but she uses the clear one, and I am using the tinted version, uh, but essentially, it's the same thing, just a nice brow wax to help keep your brows in place, and I actually really, really like this brow wax. I'm just gonna take here, give it a little spritz just to activate it, and then you go in with a spoolie and get it good and worked in. I'm just using the one on the back of that um, Maybelline little pencil that I bought and from there you go in very lightly and get your brows nice and pressed up into place. Now next up to go in she actually moves on to setting her under eyes and for that she uses the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder and I'm using this in the shade 100 because again I like to have my under eyes be a little bit brighter because I'm pasty as all get out and I need all the help I can get so I'm going to be going in with this shade and I'm taking this on an old uh, brush here. This is from the Beautylish 420 collection. This, this was um, what maybe a couple of years ago they came out with this and I really love this dense brush. It's really good for, you know, like packing and pressing. Now I'm going to have to go in, which is something I don't think she does, um, but because I have all these little under eye bags and crevasses here, I have to go in and pat those out with my fingers really quickly just to make sure we're not setting any creases. And then I can go in here with my little brush and get everything nice and set down. And this powder, if I haven't said this a million times, is absolutely fantastic. Normally, you guys, if you've been here for a while, you're probably used to hearing me talk about the powdered version because that's normally the version that I'm using. But the pressed one is just as good. And my under eyes actually look kind of fantastic. Y'all, they are nice and smooth. Oh my God, okay, ma'am, what else you got? Now from here, she moves actually straight in to contour. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer, and I'm using this in the shade 100, and it looks like, based on what she was kind of saying with her powder routine, she doesn't like her face to be overly matte. She wants there to be a little bit more of natural sheen, like on her forehead and her chin and like right through here. So we just kind of keep it back here, we tuck it in, and then just ever so gently kind of hug that bone right there kind of this one, that mm, nice little jawbone, or ch jawbone, cheekbone, Paige, cheekbone. And we just kind of take, do it on both sides. Obviously, because things aren't like set down completely, I want to be mindful um, that I'm not just like going in here and tearing up the skin, like, Ugh, you know, getting in there all vigorously uh, because we don't want to disturb the foundation and what we do have laid down for complexion. And then this is also the same powder that she uses to do her nose. So she just takes a little round brush here, and lightly kind of stamps it down. This is something that um, I do pretty much every day. Normally, I'm just a little bit lazier about it, and I take my regular bronzer brush and throw it all over the nose and call it a day, but she uh, she likes to do it a little bit more precise and use like its own separate brush. All right, now from here, we're gonna move on to eyes, and I did go ahead and I moved the camera back because I was starting to look kind of funky on the monitor, um, which obviously that's, that's pretty common around here, I feel, but you know, just, just wanted to adjust it, maybe mix things up a little. But anyways, now we're gonna move on to eyes, and for that, she actually uses the Nudes of New New York palette from Maybelline. Now that I look at this, I'm really feeling like maybe she was involved with this palette. Like, did she model this palette or something? Guys, I feel like maybe I should just be up on like my Gigi Hadid knowledge. <laughs> Anyways, going into this palette, she combines these two shades right here, the shade Creator and Heroin. 
heroin, yeah. And uh, she kind of goes for like more of a orangey, peachy kind of nude shade. And I'm just taking those on a fluffy brush. This is the BH number 10. And now when she's doing this part, she does do it a little bit differently because um, she obviously has, and by the way, she didn't like note that she prepped her eyelids with anything special. So I'm assuming it's just like the leftover concealer situation, like whatever's left up here. Um, but she does with this, she starts off in her socket right here on her eyelid and kind of works the color right through here a little bit. I need a little bit more of that orangey tone, I think. She went in, yeah, hers looked a little bit more orange toned, but starting off right through here and then she kind of blends that up and then she also takes that same um, color and actually starts up by her brow bone and pulls it down. And she said that she does this because, which by the way, her, her eyelids look completely different from mine. So obviously it's not gonna have the same effect, but she does this because um, she's trying to change or like um, kind of make it an optical illusion with her eyelid space because she does have such a high brow bone right here. And obviously, um, hello, <laughs> obviously I do not have that problem. So I'm still gonna do it, but it's definitely not gonna have that same like open open up effect for me that it does for her. For me, it's gonna look like I just worked that color um, all the way through my brow bone. <laughs> because hello, short little squatty ass eyeballs. Oh, thank God, she does connect it under her eye. Okay, guys, I had, I had to go check. I was getting, getting a little bit nervous, but she does, in fact, connect it under her eye. So I'm just gonna take and do the same. I'm such a model. From here, we're gonna go ahead and move on to bronzer. And this section, she's actually holding up a compact that she said she's had since high school, so it didn't give like a name or anything. But from what I can see, it's kind of one of those like mosaic looking bronzers that has a bunch of different tones. Some are matte, some are shimmery. And I thought with that, I would actually go in with this one today. This is the Sungasm Luminizing Bronzer from Catrice. And I'm gonna take this just on an Eco Tools fluffy brush. This is their full powder brush, actually. And I'm just gonna get it lightly coated here, tap off the majority of it, because I just want a nice light little dusting. And I'm gonna take that and kind of hit the perimeters, same as what she does. Um, but again, mine is just gonna be more of like a light kind of luminous glow. All right, now from here, she does change up things again a little bit, and we're gonna go in actually with mascara, because she said for this section, she likes to stop here, do mascara, then she comes back and does blush and highlight, and then actually does another coat of mascara. So, which by the way, you guys know, Okay, I'm all about giving me all the coats of mascara. Like, bitch, just layer them up. So we're gonna go in and use the same mascara she did, which is actually the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift in Ultra Black. And I do have one of these. It, I don't know if it's the same one that she's using because when I checked the link, um, it had this one, which is the Ultra Black. And I have the one that I think, oh, this is the regular waterproof. Um, so I'm gonna be testing this one today because normally I don't use waterproof anyways. And truthfully, I haven't been loving this mascara. So I'm gonna try, again, this one. This is the regular version with the black handle up here. Of course, before we go in, we do curl up our lashes, and even she did this. She used her Tweezer Man curler, which I don't have a Tweezer Man curler. Maybe I should get one. Are those any good? Have you guys tried one? Comment down below. My favorite, my favorite lash curler um, is from Tarte. You guys, I, I feel like their lash curler, I've had it for years. It is so, so damn fantastic. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead here. I'm gonna build up a coat of mascara. I just almost went on a tangent with lash curlers. Dear God, somebody take away my microphone. Okay, so with our first coat of mascara on, now we move on to blush and finish up with blush and highlight. And she is using in this, in her video, a Stila cream blush from what I could see and it is not one that I've ever actually tried which kind of got me a little curious but instead of that obviously I'm going to be using something else I'm going to grab the Patrick Ta little duo here and I am grabbing this in the shade she's that girl and taking the cream shade up top and I'm applying this with an it cosmetics buffing foundation brush she looks like she's using something very similar to this like it's more of a um, dense style brush that you really can like press into the skin and so I'm going to use the same one obviously be a little bit more sparing with it it, but she likes to do when have I ever been sparing with a blush okay let's just be real um but she takes hers and she said she likes to smile and actually start it at the apples of her cheeks like this and then she lightly kind of blends it backwards over the rest of her cheek which is really pretty wow that, that's that's quite an intense pink there okay uh yeah let's blend her in make everything kind of match god that is such oh such a beautiful blush you guys i know i've talked about this at length but this blush from patrick da is one of my absolute favorites uh like going into this i was like no i don't have the stila but i know which one i'm gonna use like i just i'm obsessed Paige, do not don't you you just put that down don't you dare dip back into that blush you little crazy bitch i'm sorry but just look at it melt into my skin like it just melts 
It looks so beautiful. The color, perfect. Texture, perfect. Everything, perfect. All right, now from there we move on and use a cream highlighter, and she actually uses the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick. Now, I have this in the shade 200 Medium Nude Glow, and I can basically guarantee, okay, that this is gonna be too dark for me, but she also mentions, too, that she tops this with another highlighter, so I'm hoping between the two we can kind of make it work, but first things first, let's go in with this one and lightly just kind of tap it all up in this area. Oh, that's really pretty, actually. Hello. Yeah, definitely definitely a little bit too dark. I'm actually going to take, just so I don't disturb anything else on my face here, because this is actually looking kind of good. I don't know what I was expecting. Well, I do know what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be half disastrous, because I always set everything, but this is kind of working out really well for me, and that's really beautiful. Again, definitely not perfect for my skin tone. You can see a slight little cast right there, but the emolliency of this is freaking fantastic. It feels so nice. And it's much more of like a natural-esque glow, which I like. It's not like overly intense or anything. I could see this being an easy go-to favorite for anybody that wanted like an on-the-go glowy kind of moment. Now, it looks like from there, she also pops it on her Cupid's bow, a little bit down her nose, and she does put a little bit up on her brow bone, which I'm gonna be a little bit more sparing, and I'll go in with the lighter highlight in this area. Now, for the next step, she did say, like I said before, that if she wants it to be a little extra popping, that she will take the um, powdered Master Chrome, and for that one, one, I am going to grab the shade 250. This is their metallic highlighter. And for this, I'm actually going to go in with my Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the L14. And it's more of a fluffy um, triangle kind of blushy brush, but I'm just going to take and lightly dip it into the highlight here and use it to kind of just press on top of that one. I don't want to go in and like be too vigorous with it because obviously we have creams on our face at this point and that would um, destroy them and move everything all over the place. So I'm just kind of lightly taking it and patting it and then sweeping the excess so we get more of like a nice glowy chic. Ooh, 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 ooh. Paige, calm down, calm down. You might wanna, might wanna relax a little bit, man. Relax a cake. I'm also gonna take, like I said before, throw a little bit up here on the brow bone. Just a freckle, not too much here, just to give me that little bit of pop and then a little bit on the inner corner because uh, I didn't hear her address this area, but like I always put highlight <laughs> on my inner corner. Sorry, can't help myself. Okay, it's just gonna go here. My hand, <laughs> it just, it has to be, okay? It has to be. So also really quick, not gonna name any names, but somebody, Paige, may have went just a little bit too intense here. I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of uh, press over that highlight a little bit because I did add a freckle and you know what, actually, I'll go back over it with my blush brush. There's like literally no product left on this, but I'll just go in and kind of blend that with the cream blush together blend that with the cream blush together. <laughs> okay, English isn't my thing, apparently. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna take and kind of lightly blend that. That way it helps to um, lessen that intensity. Oh, that's so much, so much better. Okay, everything is pressed, everything is good. All right, so next up we go in and we get rid of the uh, stuff that's on our lips. Obviously, I'm taking away the Lana lips. Hers was clear, same difference. Okay, we're just gonna wipe off that lippy stuff. And then from there we go in with lip liner and she actually said that she really likes using, oh my god, I thought I, thought I like had a chunk of food or something on my shirt. It's my necklace. Uh, but she likes using the Patrick Ta lip liner, but she said because of the shape, which I completely agree with. You guys know this. I've talked about his stuff at length, but I love, love the Patrick Ta lipsticks or lip liners, all of it. I think they're all super good. Um, so I'm going to be going in with this one. This is in the shade She's Bold. God, his lip liners are so nice. All right, then after that, she goes in with a lipstick and it doesn't really talk much about it but in the description box it said that it was a gold Maybelline lipstick and not only do I not have a gold shiny metallic ass gold Maybelline lipstick um, I also would never use one so instead I picked up I picked up this brand new shade that I don't have and this is a beautiful nude it's in the shade 930 truffle tees and it's a cream lipstick and like this color like bitch <laughs> are you kidding me okay this is my color oh my god and Maybelline lipsticks are so so good. And from there to finish off the lips, she goes in with the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline, and it looks like she's using it in the shade Pearl, which is the clear sparkly one. And so I actually picked this one up from Walgreens as well, because y'all, I actually really love this. I have it in um, one shade, the one that looks um, like the Fenty one. But when I saw the opportunity to grab this one for a video, I was like, okay, bitch, I hear you, because this lip gloss is so freaking nice. 
beautiful sheen really nice texture all right now that's the lips done and i'm not over here trying to judge nobody but they try to end this business here and i don't know if anybody noticed okay mainly just me but like we never went in and did more mascara Gigi. so i'm gonna go ahead and throw on a couple more coats because i was promised more mascara which is why i went light the first time so i'm gonna go ahead and add some because y'all i'm not out here trying to use one coat of mascara on these piddly ass little eyelids no thank you all right you guys with that the full face is done and complete obviously this is how everything came together and i did take i had two, you know, thoughts that I wanted to do. First of all, I want to throw up the up close. That way you guys can see how my skin is looking with such a different routine. Because obviously, if you normally follow me, you know what it typically looks like. But I still want you guys to see how this looks on, like, more textured, more acne-prone skin. And then I also wanted to, as well, conclude this video by giving you guys kind of my thoughts on the routine and, like, things that I might change for my skin type. Which, if you're new here, um, I'm 31, so I do have um, a lot of, like, wrinkles and crevasses, that kind of stuff, aging. Um, a lot of acne scarring texture on my skin and I also have um, a more combo leaning oily skin like right through the t-zone so again if that's just if you're new here maybe you're not familiar with like the stuff that I deal with on a skin level um, but I wanted to also give you guys with in regards to this whole setup for makeup things that I really liked that I would incorporate and things that um, things that I would change to maybe better suit me for longer lasting or for like a more even complexion I think for me the first thing that sticks out that I really do enjoy something that I haven't actually done very much at least in the last couple of years is actually the mixture that she used I really really loved um, how she pieced in and kind of like I said at the beginning almost created like her own glowy CC cream esque product using a foundation that she loves that has good things for her skin and also a glowy product that works for her to kind of create like a more evened out complexion but maybe with a little bit less coverage it's really easy to apply and I really really enjoyed that I also love this is super random but I love that she reminded me how beautiful this powder is the Maybelline fit me because normally I have to use you know I talk about loose powders and stuff like that all the time but this is just such a great powder for like going over lightly kind of blending out certain areas it's gorgeous and it's such an amazing powder and I forgot how good the pressed version was so I'm glad that she kind of reminded me of that another thing too that I loved about this and then I'm going to get into the things that I would change but I also want to say I love that with this whole routine so much of it was drugstore because I think a lot of people you know you look at like someone like oh Gigi Hadid she's a supermodel this that and I loved and part of the reason I wanted to do this video was how down to earth the whole thing was like so much of it I would say 80 to 90 percent of this video was all Maybelline or drugstore-esque type product the ones that weren't drugstore you could easily find dupes for they're like they're not crazy unique type products um so I really like that I loved that it was more on like the relatable side and I also really liked that on the, that same function um that when people I think you know you think of Gigi Hadid or you think of a supermodel you think like oh crazy out there complex this that and at the end of her video she actually stops and talks about how you know know guys I want you to think like I don't want you guys to think that this is how I look every day I don't do this every day there are sometimes I go a week without brushing my hair or putting on deodorant like that's just the reality right now be kind to yourself and don't compare yourself to other people and I really liked that she included that messaging because I think it can be really easy to get lost in you know all the newness and this person looks great that person looks amazing and it's like you know we, do, we don't all look great all the time and I would imagine as a model that's kind of something that she would have to fight a lot so I really liked that she incorporated that and now too I do want want to briefly mention the things that like I would change the things I would incorporate so number one uh, because I do have more acne um, prone skin it I do have more scarring I personally would have probably set my face with a foundation powder which I normally do um, especially like right through here not only does it help with the coverage but I think it would also help with the little bit of texture that I'm seeing right through here where those cream products are well the cream and the powder products and stuff like that like on my skin because I have texture powder and creams they don't mix as easily as they do on a smooth their texture like her skin um so that's something that I would change but I do really love the way that it looks like I'm not mad at this I just know that going into the next couple of hours it won't last really well it's going to start to move around which of course would be a problem so that's number one and the second thing I would change you guys I just have to say it okay she didn't use a setting spray and I don't know if you know this about me but I use a setting spray twice like in every routine and that's just a me thing because I get in this routine she really didn't use much powder so she doesn't really have much of a need for a setting spray um but you know again if it were my routine I'd be having some powder and then I'd be having having that setting spray because I love a good setting spray. But honestly, other than those two things, which I know sounds weird, especially coming from me, because it seems like in this routine, there should be so much I want to change, but there's really not. Like, I'm not I'm not mad about the way that it turned out at all, and I actually love the pairing of that City Bronzer because it does have more of, like, a contoury kind of tone. Pairing that with something a little bit more luminous, like, I think that looks absolutely beautiful. There was a point on camera where it looked a little bit orange. Whoops. That's just my lighting, but, like, in real life, it actually looks really great. It has a nice 
nice natural movement to the cheek. It naturally hugs right through here. And I really, really like it. Of course, I want to hear from you guys down below. What did you think? Were you cool with this being kind of like a, like a random little throw in video? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Did you learn something? I don't know. Okay. Just leave me all of your thoughts down below. Of course, I want to hear from you. And don't forget to, before you leave, like I said at the start, if you want to shop any of this, check it out. I will have everything linked down below. You can subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And of course, follow me over on Instagram, which would be really, really appreciated. You guys, I think that that is everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Roomba, 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 roomba. Where is my eyelash curler? Do I look like Gigi Hadid? Mm. Uh, okay, so... <laughs>